Hello everybody, welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins. Uh, I just found something spoopy. Well, I found that, uh, temple or pyramid that I was looking for. Hey, that is a big freaking lioness. Well, that was a big lioness, now she's a dead lioness. Now, let's go with this Rude. Hey, I want your twin daggers, mister. Actually, let me test these things out. I haven't used them since upgraded them. Oh my god, they're so OP now. Freaking... Slice them apart. And... Dead. See how pro that was? I'm like the prowest man. So pro. So pro. Yeah, let's find our way into this temple. This should be nice. What did the priests hope to achieve in their last ceremony so long ago? Well, let's get to finding out. I like exploring little historical things like this. Sickle sword? Wait. Ah, oh, I was hoping it would be a big temple. Oh These god, men, mummies. They were what priests? Were they killed? Or did they choose this fate for themselves? Well, they're kind of mummified, so I'm assuming they chose it themselves. Some ancient concoction. Long since dried up. Okay. Hmm. A prayer. A lion-headed lady of flame, daughter of Ra, queen of the two lands, mistress of the house of scales. Master of a pep in Amit. She who mauls, we invoke you in all our in all your names and all your places and give you this city as a gift. Breathe the desert upon it and consume it. Take it whole and in return keep your dreadful powers from harming the pharaohs and the rest of Egypt. So they sacrificed the city to a god? Or at least that's what they were thinking they were doing. The sad thing is given this game's record, that's probably something that actually happened. Possibly. The Lady of Slaughter. This place was dedicated to Sekhmet then. I thought Letopolis was home to Horus. Letopolis was sacrificed to the gods by the ancients, so the rest of the Nile could be granted to the realm of men. These priests made an invocation for protection to the one before whom evil trembles. In drinking their concoction, they gave their lives, as well as their city, to Sekhmet. In their eyes, Tahaka's project would be sacrilegious. Huh. Oh, so there's nothing else here? Alright, let's speak to Nahi. Nehi. That was pretty simple. Look at that. Get, get in there. Oh, hi, Scorpion. Almighty flo floating scorpion. Oh. Second, anything else of value around here? None that I can tell. Okay, so back over here. Just gonna turn this in and uh, see what else is here. There wasn't. I think there was one other quest here. Whoa. I think. I'm getting used to living with these symbols. Nebefe even came by for a meal. Did you find out anything? I did. Though I'm not sure you are going to like it. Uh, a curse! I knew it! <laughs> no, not exactly. Letopolis was an offering to Sekhmet, to protect the rest of the Nile. We have offended the Lady of Slaughter? No wonder the sands always blow, she wants to reclaim the city! Are the officials blind or mad? 
I can't stay here. Maybe Nebefe will come with me. What about you? My time here is but temporary. You were kind to me when others were not. Maybe we will see each other again in this world. Yeah, sure, why not? Mr. Nervous. Let's see here. Mr. Taylor. I could have sworn there was another quest here. The old library, that's right. The old library. So let's get a horsey and go over there. Yeah, I was wondering why this city felt a little off. It's because there's no freaking roads. The sand is so piled up. Like this, I think this is the only city like this so far. No wonder it was like just throwing me off for some reason. Uh, hope there's a boat around here. Otherwise, getting over there is gonna be a pain in the butt. Whoa! There's a boat. A horsey? When I said there's a boat, I didn't mean you were the boat. <laughs> That's cute and all, but you're not a boat. You're a horse. Get back on the land. <laughs> go back over here. Hopefully find something interesting in the library. Be nice. I'm always open for some more knowledge. Maybe there's something interesting. That skybox, though. And that boat's officially dead, I think. Well, I'm here. Any gazelles with the Oh god, there's so many gazelles to murder. Ah, darn it. I'll get the big one at least. Come on. Let the slaughter commence. I don't think I'm gonna hit that one. Ah, well, it's too late now. Oh well, at least I got something out of it. There we go, right through the neck. Totally painless. Um, any other bodies around here? I know I killed another one. But I don't think I looted it. Nah, screw it. Somebody shipping coins over there. Oh, isn't this where I found the last clues to that one place? I only wish I had some poison daggers, that'd be really cool. I wonder if you can get like flaming or lightning daggers. Doubtful, but it would be awesome. Exploration area. Oh, hi. Who's there? I'm armed. I will hurt you so much the gods will sing stories of how badly for ages. <laughs> Keep the peace, friend. I'm merely curious. There is little enough left of value. The jackals have already stripped the site clean. I read about an ancient battle between Mahes and Ochus, and wondered if it was here. This was where Mahes fought and died at the hands of Bago as the eunuch, and mentor the Rodian. You may have read my version of Ma'ani Jehuti. No? No matter. Do you know what became of Mahes' sword? The sword of Ptah? Said to be sacred both to Sekhmet and Serket? No. But as I said, this place has long been plundered. The bandits stay north of here, so I stay far away. Thank you. I'll head north. Okay, bandits, let's have some fun. Now, 
This is supposed to be a sacred sword. It better be a legendary weapon. Just based on its freaking lore, it has to be a legendary weapon. If it's not legendary, it makes no bloody sense. I mean, am I right? I'm not, I'm not crazy. These must be the bandits the historians spoke of. Okay. Well, found another lion's den. I need to kill that anyways, though. Let's go do it. Apparently it's in the lion's den. Why? The hell? Wait, that's not a lion's den. That's a hyena den. Freaking die, hyena. Uh, that looks legit. Really, it'll be soft. Really, it's inside the wall. Screw it. I'm starting to get the impression that these daggers aren't really meant for killing animals. Okay. Yeah, these daggers are meant for killing men. Alright. Got a bow. It's pretty crappy. Thank you, dearest goddesses. <sighs> I will it use looks to cool, keep the faith. but it's disappointing. It looks like a cool sword, but it is freaking disappointing. Come on. You know full freaking well that that should have been a gold level sword. Such a load of bull. And unicorn. And not a unicorn. And unicorn. I'm solved. Eyes open. Wait for all. Get the bastard. Oh, I'm out of ammo. That's awkward. Rude. And let's get over here. I can hit him. Sure you can. But will you survive it? Have your guts, son. Ah, crap! I missed. Missed again. There we go. Right in the face. Oh, hello, kitty. Oh, you good kitty. Oh, God, you're a bad kitty. Kitty. Hey, you're not supposed to stab me. I'm the one who does the stabbing. Wow, you really don't care for these daggers, do you? Not at all. What the hell is it? There's something here that smells like a freaking stink bug. And, like, in real life, that is. I think a freaking stink bug died or something. I recognize that smell. It's freaking nasty. All right, I guess I'm gonna pause it and uh, do a little bit of hunting. I'll probably get some water too, because I'm thirsty. And, uh, well, hopefully I'll be at a new area that has a mission or something when I get back. So be right back, people. I'm back, babies. I found a, a sunken boat, I guess, or a beached boat. 
Maybe this is a thing from one of those uh, things from before. You know, I mean, the... Uh, the papyrus. Zemanth. I understand your concerns, but I frankly don't care. Get that statue on the ship and have it delivered on time, or I'll send you to an early afterlife. L. What does the L stand for? Huh. Abandoned trio. Trio. <laughs> there has to be something to this. <laughs> Aha! Garbage, but something. Yeah, it's garbage. Oh well. Oh, hi, gators. Let me just deal with you. Well, I'd like to deal with you, but you're just not going to take kindly to that, are you? Nope. None of you are. I'm just gonna leave you alone. God, I need to get stronger. When I think about it. Abilities. Do I get something? Increases damage of all your melee attacks by an additional 1%. Extend combo. This I wanna do. I'm actually loot enemies after a melee kill. That would make my life much easier, too. Oh, now that's really good. That would make my life extremely good. Okay. Alright. I can get behind that. Enhance the light bow, fire more arrows before needing to reload. I need to get that ability. I've been needing to get that for a while. Hmm. I'm not gonna get those gators, that's for sure. Sure as crap ain't getting that. There's really nothing here of value. Yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, go somewhere else. Wait, no, I, wait, they're hunting. So I want to see if those are animals. And they are. So I'm gonna, um, well, I'm gonna pause it and kill those really quick. And then I'll uh, hopefully be in a new area by then. So be right back, people. I'm back. Uh... Only for a second, though, I just found the uh, little treasure chest, which, once again, has garbage in it, but, meh. Nah. And, um, another lookout point, or synchronization point. Don't worry, I'm gonna teleport to somewhere else, it's just I got this specifically so I can teleport back here at any time. God, there's so many freaking points. I don't know how to keep up with them all. Alright, map. Look how freaking big this map is! You wonder why I'm s I am I keep going from random place to random place? This is why! It's so freaking fubbernucked. The whole place is- I just don't even know where I'm going. There's so many freaking places. I want to test out a spear. I wish I'd get a golden spear. That would make me happy. Weapon parameters. Yeah, yeah. Royal baby food. What? Ah, oh, back here. Uh, hey, get away from this idiot. I want to go over here. 
see if there's something of value there. It's probably just a camp, and if it is, well, I mean, I'll just leave and go somewhere else afterwards. Probably teleport. Or fast travel, if you want to call it that. Anyways, I'll pause it just because it's going to take a second to get there. So be right back, people. And as predicted, it's a camp. Oh, well. Uh, they will attack on sight here. Yeah, sure they will. Doesn't mean they're going to live. I just lit that man on fire! And poisoned and bleeded him at the same bloody time. Well, that's awkward. Hey, wait! Wait, what? I get so. Hey, Unicorn! Oh, that's awkward. Double unicorn! Oh, I kill you! Hey! You kill nobody. I'll have your touch for that. So slow. There you are. This and you just take care of this. See how easy it is to solve a problem, people. I keep my eyes open. Now, sneaky sneak over here and stab in the butt. Or the neck. That works too. Hey, hold on. You will not escape. Hi. Unicorn. I love doing that. Wait a second, I could have sworn there was a treasure chest around here. Like in one of these two tents. Am I losing my mind? Oh wait, it's probably one of these two. Here we go. Crappy shield, but I'll take it. And while I'm at it, this is the rebels. Go! Be free! I'm tempted to set off another alarm to see if one of those super big guys pop up again. And then, uh, you know, deal with him. Where's the alarm for this area? Oh. I don't think there is an alarm for this area. And they're all dead anyways. Alright. God, that's a massive freaking desert. <sighs> Great. Well, I'll be right back. Get a little more hunting. So be right back, people. Once again, rolling up on a freaking massive lion's den. I don't know where they keep coming from. Let's have some fun. Rude. I'll just take care of you. Now die. Oh my god, there's so many of them. There's too many kitties. So many giant adorable kitties, they're trying to kill me! They're so adorable that I'm trying to murder them. Each and every one of them. Hey, why are you running away? You're not allowed to do that. It's rude. You don't freaking start a fight with me and then run like a coward.
so glad I recorded that. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. It's like a freaking Looney Tunes cartoon. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> Give me a moment, people. <laughs> Give me a moment. Okay, I'm back. I needed that laugh. <laughs> that has got to be the funniest freaking glitch I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my god. It, it, it's just because, like, <laughs> I finish it with an overhead swing, its head goes into the ground, but for some reason its front paws are sticking out like it's saying, HELP! Me. <laughs> I regret my decisions at all. Oh. oh, that made me happy. That made me really happy. Hey, there's a hippo. Oh my god, I wish I didn't get rid I wish I didn't leave so that wouldn't go away. That was just so satisfying. I'll let you fight it out with the hippos. I'll hide over here. Let's see, wild versus wild. Well, there goes the hippo. The hippo's having a bad day. Go on, go get the other hippos right there. Get it, get it, get that hippo. Get that hippo if y'all like. You'll roll up on me. You'll roll up on me, I'm a hippo. My mouth is bigger than your head. What you gotta do about it? There we go. Get him. Get him. Sick him. <laughs> I can't believe I just instigated a fight between a lion, some lions and hippos. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Holy crap. Holy crap! <laughs> That's awesome. I'm so glad I recorded that. Hey. Just die. Oh my god. That was... Too awesome and funny. Uh, I'll be right back in just a second, people. Hold on. Alright, I'm back for a second. Upgrade my assassin blade. Ooh, that's fancy. Oh, I'm one, cup, one bronze short of upgrading that baby. Oh well. I need some more of those. Yeah, I'll work on getting that. So I can upgrade that again. Wait a second, do I need leather for that? Yes, I do. God, I've almost maxed out all my gear already. This is ridiculous. And I've barely even done anything in the game, as far as the main story is concerned. I've just been farming so freaking much. Oh well. At least that just means I'll be, able to be prepared, because this game's probably gonna get harder. Anyways, I'll be right back once again, people. Found a new camp. Which means new people to slaughter. I should not be seen in this area. So you say, so you say. I mean, why not? Alright. Let's start a party. See what will happen here. Wait die, die. And you're dead. And you're halfway dead. And then you are like, screw you, I don't care. Now. 
Rude. Well, I wasn't expecting that, but okay. Now my question will be, will one of those guys show up again? Hey. Personally, I hope so. It'd be much more fun to just do that. Now, come on. You know, eating yeah, adorable. Taking an arrow to the skull. And dead. Good night. Arrow to the skull. Good question, who did? Jack and your horse. <laughs> it's like not only am I gonna jack your horse, I'm gonna freaking use it to kill you. Hi hippo. You're angry, aren't you? Or you're just gonna sit there and take it. I guess that works too. Hey, don't sit there and eat that person. You chubby little bastard. Silly little hippo, when will you learn? You just can't take me down. You think you can. That just ain't gonna happen. God, the way their mouths are open when they run at you like that. It's just disturbing. Don't scatter. You're supposed to come here and take it. Straighten the bum. What? You can't go across water? You know you can. You prick. Huh. Oh well, I'll just hunt them down. Wait a second, I forgot to pause it, didn't I? Wait, I see a pyramid! I see pyramids! Pyramids I see! If I can get to those, that would be freaking awesome. I would be more than happy to go to those. But first I must kill this hippo. This hungry, hungry hippo. Come on, hippo. Don't you want a piece of me? You ain't gonna get it, but you can try. All right, I'm going to pause it once again and see if I can make it to those pyramids. <laughs> Be right back, people. All right, I'm back. I'm not at the pyramids just yet. The reason I'm here is because I see a boat in the sand. I'm starting to think that might be a location of what the papyrus treasures. So let's see. Wait, why is the moon showing in the middle of the day? Yeah, see that? freaking boat sitting there taunting me all like hey there I don't belong here maybe I'm implying that there used to be ocean here or river the fun of the two did I find the Ark of the Covenant probably not did I find anything of value here or is this just a weird boat just sitting in the middle of nowhere mummified bodies I looked everywhere, and there was no light. Then I looked towards the king, my lord, and there was light. We should continue through the sand with the barge. He'll guide us. I... I don't... I'm so confused. Whoa. Huh. Well, there was some rare stuff in that wood. So I guess it was something. Wait, wait, wait. That question mark is glowing gold. I think that's probably the pyramid, so I'm gonna head that way. Hold on just a moment, people. I really wanna see one of these pyramids if I can go in them. If I can go in them, I will be happy. I mean, it is like day one DLC thing. So why can't I go into the pyramid? I've gotta be able to go in. I might be underleveled for it. I hope I'm not. 
Wait. New region. Giza. Oh, maybe the Sphinx is here. That would be cool. How would the freaking vulture survive an axe to the face? I've gotta ask. Oh, let me see what this golden question mark is. There's gotta be a reason it's golden. Right? Nineteen. Okay, we're getting to some tough enemies. I may have found a secret secret here, people. Something really secret. Secret enough to be worth going to. like it. I don't like that landing I did. But this looks like it could be interesting. What the hell? Huh. It must be up there, whatever the question mark is. So I'll go to that in just a moment. But first... Ardor of Thoth too. Okay, maybe there is a reason to be here. This is a tomb. Mm. Tomb should be nice things. Avenge Nati Luna. Nati Luna, you say? First, let's explore the tomb. Unicorn! <sighs> I'm doing the world a service by making so many pretty unicorns. Wait a second. Oh, well, I guess it's here. Whatever killed him. Or her. With a name like Luna, I would hope it's a she, but, you know. Adorable, you think you're poison? Hey, I think we have company. Do you? Right, I'm with you. I don't think you do. I don't think you do. Wait a minute. <laughs> but I'll buy the ones. And problem solved. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. And then I'm gonna put it into you. Like so. And then I'm going to make your two little delightful leaders into delightful little unicorns. These guys got a lot of health. Why they got so much help? Rude. Come on. Ah, I freaking parried that. What the hell did I just do? That was cool. That was freaking awesome. know what I did, but that was pretty freaking cool. Well, you've been avenged, Naughty Luna. Hmm. Anything here? Find the ancient tablet. Oh, snap. Wait, since it's something new, like an ancient tablet, that makes me think it's gonna be like a key to, like, the ultimate armor of the game or something, wherever I find that chamber. Just based on, uh, previous Assassin's Creed's. 
crappy weapon, but oh well. I can craft something. I can upgrade that. Ooh, that looks fancy. Unicorn! Unicorn. So many unicorns. They're so pretty. What, you didn't give me anything? What kind of crap is that? He who dwelleth in his flame, he who is in his hour. Red of both eyes, flame seeing in the black chaos, and by the, whose eyes the great menjet will be halted. We ask you to grant us eternal life by your side. To the great Baba, bull of the baboons, first uh, born son of Osiris, and feaster on entrails. He who stands upon the lake of fire and devours the unrighteous souls, who those whose hearts have weighed heavy against the mot. Uh, destroyer, Punisher, Ravager, Judge, Most Revered, Harbinger of Chaos. We give you honor. Okay. Lots of chaos worshipping in this Egypt. So edgy. What are they going to do now? Look for the Chaos Emeralds. Chaos Quartz, according to MatPat. Counterweights are affected by the weight of objects placed on the connected platforms. Yes, and? But the thing is, what's it connected to? Oh. I see, I see. So this is some balance magic. I see, I see, I see what I'm doing here. Sort of. Wait a second. You know, it'd be nice if there was a button to throw that I could figure out. Just a thought. Really? Oh, for God's sake. How the hell am I supposed to even get up there? Oh. That answers my question. Okay, so I'm supposed to do exactly what I think I'm supposed to do. Uh, just put these things on it. Do that. Surely, surely four will be enough, right? Gotta be more than heavier than I am. I mean, sure, I'm carrying heavy as crap weapons, but still. We'll see if it's enough. It is. So, what is up here? Okay, it's so dark, it's actually kind of spoopy. Huh. Oh, looks like this might be the stone tablet. Or just a lot of fancy treasure. What the crap did I just find? H, the guards have been taken care of as we agreed. On the third day after the full moon, they will find three bladders of wine to amuse them. It won't be long till they will be too drunk to care. Enter the tomb then. Do your job and deliver to my house the next day. Uh, remember, power I will. Uh, remember, power I willed, and keep my name out of it. Even a whiff of this, and my exalted position will be compromised. T. Who's T? Quite King Tut. Oh, this is a freaking treasure room. <laughs> this looks nice. Ooh, daddy like. I'd prefer if it was all golden loot, but. Yeah, this is what drives me nuts about big old treasure rooms like this, though. You can't take all the cool stuff with you. I mean, I want to take all this stuff, sell it, and get rich as crap. 
or decorate my house with it or something. That's the kind of stuff that I want to do in like an MMO. If I ever find a place like this. Ancient writing from the old kingdom. Ability point? Okay. So you get an extra ability point from these instead of XP. Nice to know. Huh. I want to see where... I'll find the entrance. But you saw there was something like... Um... Hold on. Daddy Karin needs a new robe. My brother-in-law, Saruf, wants three bladders of the cheapest wine you can find. He means to drink it without water, but on his head be it. Uh, so many weird, like, kind of words. Farouk must have a new goat. I'm not sure how you will bring it back all, the, all this way, but please do your best. Your loving wife, Tali. Okay. Oh, but yeah, I want to go back in here because there was, like, water... And I'm wondering if there's like an underwater tunnel I can go down and maybe find some interesting stuff in. That would be this. Let's see. Oh god, so many spoops. Oh, it is an underwater cave. Good to know. The question is, what is in it? Anything nice? Something. Ooh. Another carbon crystal. And another whatever the hell that thing is. And I can upgrade this bracer once again. It's just one more away from being maxed out. I'm almost maxed out in everything now. Jesus. Oh, well, that's unfortunate, isn't it? See, so there was, I know what I'm doing. There was a reason for me to come back here. I had no idea that there was, but it looks suspicious. Here's the thing. If there were monsters, I would have never wanted to do that because I'd be scared. All right, now let's go to these pyramids. I want to go to these pyramids. Why am I running so slow? It's because of the sand? Probably. I can't call my horse here either. Alright, let's go out here. There's a waypoint. Uh, you know, climbing point. Let me climb up there, that way I can teleport here whenever. Keep saying teleport, I mean fast travel, but you know what I mean. It's essentially the same thing. Ah, crap. Whee! There goes my cankles! Come on, horsey. You know, as much as I complain about this game, I do like exploring in it. Although I wish there was, like, I wish the loot or whatever else I find here would be a little bit more rewarding. But otherwise, it's pretty neat. Like, the environment looks nice. Even though I'm not a fan of deserts, personally. Wait, another golden point over there. What the hell? Hold on a second. I gotta investigate this. Gold points are new to me. It makes me think they're like something super special. That's why I want to go there. Wonder if I could use this to dive straight headfirst into the freaking sand. That'd be funny. Synchronization complete. World map updated. Sinu's perception increased. Ooh. That 
looks interesting. So, oh, there it is. I was about to say, how the crap do I get down quickly? All right, horsey, let's go over there. It'll only take a second. That, and I mean, that tomb was actually kind of satisfying to explore, other than the crappy loot. I mean, it was okay loot, it was purples. Still prefer gold, you know. Hey, 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 those are, that's one of those thingamajigs. So now I can make my son happy. Oh, hi, hyenas. Let me kill those since they're right here really quick. Let's have a nice chat. A nice chat? Let me ask you a question. Come on. Uh huh. And... Done. How many freaking hyenas are there? There we go. Now let's go here and have a nice chat with my sadly dead son. Another constellation it is. How many of these are there, I wonder? Well, I already skipped it. <laughs> skipped the chat, that is. I didn't mean to. They should tell. They, they should tell the whole story, regardless of how fast you find it. I mean, come on, man. Does that bubba? Okay, don't freaking freeze on me, please. Wait, okay, maybe I'll hear the story this way. Maybe that's why you're able to interact with it afterwards. So let's hear the story. Let's hear your wisdom. Come on. Magi have a duty to the gods. We must be strong and ready to fight. But we must only fight when it is just. I'll practice hard, Papa. I want to be strong and hunt like you do. You are already better with your weapons than many men. You will make a fine Magi, son. Like Mum says, may your victories multiply. Hmm. <laughs> that it? All right. The divine lion, the powerful one. Oh, never mind. Her breath formed the desert, the fiercest of hunters. She leads the armies of the Pharaoh into battle. Now, is that it? Wait, actually, maybe if I zoom in on that, I can hear from about Horus. Nope, nothing. Okay. Now, let's get the horsey. That wind. Sandstorm coming. Oh, that's bad. Let me make my way towards the pyramids. That's where I originally wanted to go. Apparently, there's an enemy camp over here. Well, I guess I'll go to the enemy camp first. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. How unfortunate that you're right there. Whoa. Wow, level seven. I must be careful now. How cute. 
they think they stand a chance. Hey, what? Oh. Hey, this you shit. It tickles. It so tickles. Okay, it's starting to get a little annoying now. Kindly die. God, right in the groin. Ah, oh, there's the pyramids. How did I get so far from them? That wind will raise the suns. Will it? Oh, this is bad. Wonder if I'll find the mummy in this. Oh no, I can't see anything. I cannot see Jack Diddley. This is bad. Holy hell, it's like everything's on fire. Jesus. Screw sandstorms. Especially the Darude kind. I'd never want to be in one of those in real life if that's supposed to be a simulate. Really, horse. Horse? Horse. Horse! Get off! Let me off! God. Get out of there, you idiot. My god. Sitting there trying to talk. You know, I like. Derp, 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 derp. Freaking derp horse. Can, can he. Can. Alright. Around it is. Am I gonna have to climb up there on foot and then summon you above? Get the impression that's what I'm gonna have to do. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. It's not that steep. Whoa. Oh, now you, now you decide you want to climb. Okay, good. Whatever. Make up your mind. What the hell? Oh, right. I'm in Giza now. Where I wanted to be. Before I got distracted like an idiot. Ooh, what's that? A whole lot of nothing. Ugh. <sighs> Well, at the rate this is going, it's probably going to end the episode of the pyramids. There's three pyramids? Okay. Yep, golden question mark. That means something fancy is going to be here. Hopefully something really nice. That pyramid is freaking huge, dude. First, let's go to this little white question mark. There's two gold question marks. I love it. I love it so much. Hey! Die, you worm. Huh. You'd think this place would be a lot higher level than it is. Stop. Oh my god, the frame rate. Why do you do this to me? This isn't freaking Dark Souls 3. Okay, first of all, let's go under here. This looks like a secret. And I was right. Hello, secrets. Purple shield. Gonna make some good, uh, material, I guess. Because the sure as crap ain't gonna use it. And a blue sword. That is completely useless to me other than materials. Alright. Let's go, horsey. And a scepter that I don't need. I'm gonna upgrade that golden scepter I got at the beginning of the game at some point. It just looks really tempting to use. Ooh, that's an entrance to that pyramid. I wanna climb that pyramid, though, since that's obviously a freaking... what you call it. One of those points. Can I climb up the side of this thing? 
Yes, it can be done. Freaking climbing the pyramid. This is awesome. Hell yes. You know, if it wasn't so scary, I'd actually like to explore the pyramids in real life. Scary as in, like, you never know when something's going to collapse and you might, you know, die. Or just Egypt being a dangerous region in general. I don't actually know if it's dangerous, but, you know, Middle East. Things going badly un over there, unfortunately. I wish it wasn't. Either way... Ooh. Oh wait, that's nothing. Jesus. Such a strange climbing path. Also, GameStop, you're a prick for trying to trick people. Uh, try trying to freaking threaten people into pre-ordering the game. I saw that freaking ad campaign you had. So glad I stopped buying from GameStop a long time ago. Freaking pricks. Trying to exploit people. It's like, you can't have this if you don't pre-order this. Screw off. The fact that they locked the pyramid behind a pre-order bonus is also kind of crappy. I mean, come on. You have the game set in Egypt and you're like, oh, if you, do if you don't immediately spend your money on the game. You ain't gonna get it to explore the pyramid. What kind of garbage is that? I mean, I pre-ordered it anyways, but you know what I mean. Just, I don't like it. I don't like that kind of exploitive garbage. <sighs> Either way, whining aside, I made it up to the, up to the top of the pyramid. Didn't think the top would be metal, that's kinda cool. I'll be to slide down the pyramid. What fool would set up camp out here? I should have a look. You tell me. This should be fun. Surfing down the pyramid like a boss. Oh, there's so many ruins. can't jump. I was thinking it was like jump and maybe slide down even faster somehow. No, that can't happen. I'm surprised your hand isn't on fire right now. So let's see about this so-called camp. Wait, shouldn't I have a quest here? Accidental philosopher, end of the snake. Nope, nothing. Alright. Wait, secrets of the first... Pyramids. Yes. Wait, what the crap's this guy rushing around for? Bandit attack? Hi. Oh, rude. You will regret that. You will. The only one who's gonna regret this encounter is you. First of all, why are your arrows on fire? Why is your head not separated from your skull? Get back. That'll cost you. You're saying? Who's costing who? Looks to me like it's you. So they were saying shutting up camp. Good she here. Yeah. Oh god, that quest is all the way over there. I'll go to that later. We just, um... See what this is. Eastern Cemetery Mastaba. Neat. Hey, there's a quest here. Okay. See, my exploring is paying off, people. There's lots of things. In Giza, three pyramids pyramid stand tall. From the top of the smaller one, you can see quite a lot. Even two mushroom rocks, the smaller of which I lay atop of. Mushroom rocks? Not sure what the crap that's supposed to be. 
Although I, I kind of actually understand that hint, so I might actually find that for once. Um. Can I not get through here? It looks like that would be an exit. The answer is no. It is no, my friends. Stop it. Roof it is. What the crap is the thing that I was looking for? Either way, I guess I'm going to end this episode here and uh, figure out what the crap to do in the next episode. So, if you lovely people enjoyed this, leave a like and subscribe, leave a comment, possibly leave a donation, share the channel with your friends, poke the notification button. And if you'd like to support my channel and help it grow, maybe visit my Patreon and become a patron. And I will see you lovely, lovely people in the next episode. Have a good night, everybody. Wait a second. Let me read this. Kaika, thank you for banding together with the rest of us merchants. As discussed, we need to build a warehouse big enough to stock all of our products after hours. We've had it with Merid sending his men going through our things while we sleep. I'm sure it's the same for you. Let me know when you're free to discuss in person. Farfan. Okay. It's a strange name, but whatever. I'm not finding... Uh, uh, screw it, screw it. All right, all right. Anyways, have a good night, everybody. I'll figure this out at the beginning of the next episode.